Hello there, my friends. I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for rejoining me here in Hoi 4 Old World Blues, playing as a beautiful, slightly longer Western Brotherhood of Steel. So last time, we took out the Hubologists, and now we probably need to core their territory. Well, that'll come along soon enough when we get to renovating Bay Industries, getting a core in Antioch and Concord, but we should also probably get ready for the <clears throat> Red Menace, as we might want to put it delicately. Or maybe we don't want to put it delicately, maybe we just want to get rid of these people anyways. Which we probably do, but that's fine with me and hopefully it's fine with you too. But what we're going to do is go right here and cut these guys down and cut them in half. Cut all these divisions down south off, even though they might still die from the Tinker Vagrants, which is a very real possibility, but... I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Let's get some better square rig sales, because we can. And I, I do hope you are having a good day. I'm doing kind of well myself. A few comments, not too many, but a few comments to get through. <clears throat> well, first of all, we got some convoys, no... Like cruisers? No. That's okay. Ooh, a division. Uh, first of all, someone recommends I play as Stalingrad in Equestria War. Now, I've done that actually a long time ago. I played Stalingrad. That was my first campaign in Equestria War. Haven't played them again since, but I'm open to it. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see what happens. Uh, I want to actually get to <clears throat> Equestria War more, more, much more often. By the current time, uh, I don't think it's... I don't have a lot of time for it, so... Eventually, I will incorporate more. Let's see. Grenade machine guns or heavy incinerators? Ooh, I don't know. Doggos. I like the doggos. I like the field medics. Hmm. Flamers, incinerators. Well, for infantry, I want to say we should use incinerators because if we use frag grenades, our infantry could hit our own power armor. What is more deadly to power armor? Frag grenades or flamethrowers? Because if they use flamethrowers, they could burn their own guys. Then again, they could blow themselves up too. Hmm, if they get cooked a little bit by a flamer, that, they might be able to resist that stuff. So that's why I want to kind of go with flamethrowers this time. Can power can power armor resist? I'm sure some power armor can resist some flames, depending on how hot it is. But even then, it's like, oh, it's kind of hot. But let's get some Foxwell Doctrines. That'd be kind of nice. I think that'd be pretty good. And we finished up our focus, <clears throat> in which we just got three more civilian workshops. But now, how about we do the right thing in uh, exerting the law? Where the Hubal just finally eradicated the religious cult disintegrating into the sand and ash. People now are flocking to us, healing us from riding this menace to all good people. They've embraced the Brotherhood so far, a seemingly perfect opportunity to exert our influence onto the city itself. And I love cores. I love it, love it, love it. We should be justifying, though, on these guys, right? <clears throat> uh, ah, and I am right. It's sometimes good to be right. Now, we can demolish these guys quickly, quickly, quickly. But... We have unlimited time, and I kind of want to see the she fall. If the she fall, that honestly probably wouldn't be a good thing for us. But then again, it might be a good thing. So, here's the idea. Let's go to war now. And we'll split up our resources, or our gains, with the tanker of vagrants. There we go. And they should be able to win. Not too, with too much difficulty. There you go. Now, we're doing this. Because, nope, we don't need to come in. I want to eventually get all of these guys over on our side of the peninsula. Now, trying to bust over the little waterway there is almost impossible, even though they have no manpower. So my goal is to go to war with them, let them come into San Francisco thinking they have an opportunity to succeed or win, and then crush them. So basically, they're going to come over to the waterway, we're going to crush every single one of their divisions, and then march straight into the capital. That's how we're going to do it. I'm going to expand up through California this way. Oh, and we just killed off a lot of divisions there. See? There we go. They have lost most of the Taker Vagrants. We've done 18%. We call we can call Melgopolis 1. Wow, they lost 2,000 guys. Not bad. San Jose, thank you for playing. And with our work, or our help on, our side, on that side, we've helped defeat them. <clears throat> cool. San Jose, we'll take that. We'll take your Vagrants can have San Francisco. I've never been. Might want to go someday. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see what happens. Well, looks like we're going to need a lot of points for this. Let's get a little bit more, a little more, a little more, and boom. Should be good enough. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Oh, my goodness. You need so many points for this. Holy cow. That's all right, though. Cool. And actually, uh, actually, if we cancel it, we got enough political power. They have a claim state, so it actually should be cheaper, maybe, or take a little bit less time. That being said, that's what we're going to do. We want them all in. I want them to expand down here. And power armor, you're just gonna hang out. Just gonna hang out right there. Take half you guys and hang out right there as well. Do we have an upgrade for Houston? Hopefully. That'd be kind of nice. Yeah, we've exerted the law in Antioch and Concord. They are now under us fully and permanently. Encouraging relief efforts. 
That might not be bad, but we don't really own it, so I don't really think we're going to do that. Let's do renovating the bay industry. Why not? While much of San Fran lays in ruins and in derelict complexes, there's much to be salvaged and renovated. Practically a gold mine for any industrial savvy person with a mechanical know-how too, with the inhabitants as a perfect labor force to do so. A whole one arms factory, and or arms workshop, and one civilian or other workshop. My mind is going bye-bye right now as I'm recording this. My apologies if I start mumbling or speaking incoherently. But if I do remember correctly from yesterday's video, we do want to eventually build all this stuff here. So we're going to need a few more caps. We could sell some equipment, but we're kind of good. Let's get some Who Dares Wins. We're really focusing on power armor very heavily here. And we got we got good amount of resources for almost everything, or equipment, I should say. Except for planes, but that's pretty gosh darn normal here. Let's see. Let's see. Screening. Uh, that's not great. Uh, they're both pretty bad. <laughs> they're both pretty bad for screening. That's fine. Go and do that for now. Go and train. That couldn't hurt us too much, right? Square rig sales. Great, 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 great. 2278. Uh, radar. Yeah, I guess why not. Let's go grab some radar. And some radio. Let's grab some polyalphabetic ciphers. I love encryption. Hope you do as well. Encryption's a pretty good thing. Let's see over here, though. Row recon, speed, and decryption. Let's see if it's soldier losses. I like that. You know what? I usually don't probably ever use reconnaissance experts. I kind of want to do them. Or maybe not do them, but use them. Uh, let's see. We're, that's a little bit ahead of time. Let's grab some anti-tank. We're we'll going to need that eventually. But, mm, I don't know, man. Uh, let's, in the meantime, let's throw on some explody boys. Oh, we can't do that. God dang it. Uh, we're going to need more explody boys. We're going to need some more doggos. Ooh. And we're going to need some more planes. And triplane attackers. Aw, oh, yeah. What was I saying? Yeah, I'm sorry. My mind is slipping as I'm recording this. That's okay, though. Renovating the bay. Good, good thing. Hacking the hub link. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't really feel like liberating them, especially after we already cored their territory. Yeah, we might get them as a bonus or a benefit, but I don't know. But I'm really interested in this stuff down here just because it says Boomer Enclave. Like, I played as a Boomers. Like, you know, Vault 34, Boomers. Um, when you say Boomer, I, I get really interested, maybe. <laughs> Enclave researchers, our fears have become a reality. The Enclave are returned to American soil. They've mustered enough power to become a sizable threat to our way of life. We must eradicate them once and for all. You say Boomer, I'm like, oh. You say Enclave, I'm like, oh. You say Boomer Enclave, I'm like, I've, I've already played as them. They're they're a fun faction. So, uh, Yeah, I'm going to just let these guys come on in and just kill them off. That's the plan. Because every time I try to attack over the wide way, it's going to suck. And if I try to attack this way through the wide way, it's going to suck. Especially against Woodlake, who has a probably a pretty good amount of manpower. Very cool. Uh, Enclave Resurgence. Fresh recruits. Ooh, wow, we get more population. Brotherhood Vet... Mm, we can do that stuff. I don't want to do that yet, though. I want to do... Power Armor Procurement. The intrinsic symbol of the Brotherhood, the peak of military ingenuity and technological marvels of the old world, Power Armor, has become increasingly harder to come across in the wastes. Constructing Power Armor can be done, but it is by no means an easy feat. So we just make 600 of them. It's no easy feat, but we just make 600. Great. And let us go to war. But before we have to go to war, I will be right back. All right, my apologies about that, but I had to tend to something else really quickly. But regardless, we are back, and it is time for us to have a little bit of a fun time with the uh, Tinker Vagrants. Now, we're pretty much already done with this specialized warfare tree, which is awesome. Let's get some lightweight metals. We could probably improve the planes that we already have. But let's go and justify on more of Northern California, because we like seeing California burning. Oh. That sounds like a that could be a bad thing any part of the year, I guess. Or any time. Or any year, really. Because it always sounds like California is always on fire. But that's okay. Let's invite these people in. And, uh... Yeah, I got a little bit of manpower. Come on in. Come on in, guys. No worries. No problems. No, no. Yeah, just come on in. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about the Megapolis One Soldiers. They mean no harm. They mean absolutely no harm. Don't mind me as I'm slowly going to encircle you guys. Don't worry about it. Actually, take all four of you guys. And then go uh, without you. And then without you. Don't worry about it. Nothing's going to go poorly here for you. Eudipithia. Eudipithia. Eighties. Cool. Ah, oh, see, nothing bad, nothing bad. I don't know what they're talking about. See, we're all one big old family here that we're gonna use you exterminate you guys. So that's two over here. Plus two is usually four. Plus another two is usually six. Now they've up to nine divisions. Oh, I found another one. Ah, oh, scum of the earth. I see. Ah, oh, okay, that's that's not bad so far. Now I wonder if we could actually go to San Rafael immediately. We have a lot of political power. Wow. Oh, uh, that's a mind. If that's a mind. If that's in mind. If I keep that in mind, I am sorry. 
Let's see. Consumer goods. Eh, we can do that. Why not? You know what? Lower research speed as well. That would be fine with me. 1-1. One, one. Infrastructure? Good. Oh, what the heck? Um, just, if you can't get up there, go ahead. You're gonna take a slight detour if possible. If all they have left is, if that's all they have left is one division. This has worked out much better than I thought it uh, would have. Oh, man. Not bad. I do have to say so myself. Not bad. Okay, we got them. I'm glad we made them take the she bait. The she bait. Um, she, what is she bait? That sounds like a real thing. You got some she bait? Hmm. Hmm. Sounds like something from Rule 34. But anyways, frequency analysis is really fun because you can uh, get more encryption, right? Or decryption. It's decryption. Research speed is cool and all, but have you ever had some more backyard workshops? Man, imagine if you had a backyard workshop. That'd be kind of wicked awesome. Like, if you just have workshops in your backyard. I mean, I have a garage, but... Hmm. Like I said, I apologize for me kind of getting kind of loopy at the time I'm recording this. I'm just recording things at night. Anyways, fusion conversion. Conver conserving fusion cores for only the Brotherhood power armor will also keep their production costs at a minimum. For only Brotherhood power armor. Well, whatever works. Whatever we say works. I, I guess I'll gladly accept it. You know, I've got no real opposition to it. Ooh. Even more like cruisers? Yeah, don't. Yeah, sign me up. Sign me up, man. So now that is three, so you need at least nine. We got it. We got good screenings there. That's nice. That's some good stuff. All right, up next, we could use a little bit more manpower. I'm feeling a little uneasy about that. We've got some fusion cons conservation, which is coming along very nicely. Even though we don't really need it yet, that's still okay. Paladins, you're going to eventually become even larger. Yeah, that's just not worth it. The benefits over here are just so much more. Breakthrough 11, you do get technically more breakthrough with this one. But 14 soft attack compared... Eh, actually, the soft attack here is pretty good. Maybe if you can continually upgrade these guys. You know what? We're going to keep an eye on them. I'm going to keep an eye on them. Because I don't I, I don't know. We'll compare them when they're done. 40s. That'll be good. In the meantime, let's go and throw on demo teams here. That just helps them out because support companies are always worth it. Or usually worth it. Alright, up next. Aerial warfare. Why not? I'm just unobstructed piloting because we can. But next, we got a core of the Xi territory, which would be very, very good. Very, very good. Naval designer. Hmm. We are working on our navy. Heavy ship manufacturer. Production cost range. I'd rather screen range go down, just because the range never really matters too much. Just because of the range, probably, that limits them due to the capital ships. But that's just my opinion. Uh, so, basically, we're going to wait to get the ridges done. Wow, Baron's Republic is looking kind of thick. How much longer? Not that much longer. Radio detection is very nice. Let's go ahead and grab... Not that, but... Some refined tools. That'd be very good. We're doing really well on the resources, too. And let's see what we could use. Maybe a few more uh, arms workshops. Anyone? Arms workshops? Yeah. Santa Maria. Ah, Maria. Very good. Yeah, actually, that's looking really nice. Uh, if you really want to, you can put one more on that area. Marley tribe are gone. Let's come back over here and do exert authority. With the she finally eradicated, most of their much of their members fleeing into the waste. What they left is a trove of valuable trinkets. Those that they cannot carry with them left wayside. Too much, too much of an effort, and with so little time, would it have taken to burn or otherwise destroy these gizmos? Now the bro it is in the brothers' hoods' hands. Ah, yes. Oh, also make some anti-tank because we're going to put that on our infantry. We might put them on our power armor, but it, it just depends on how much of an air force we can build up for these guys. Uh, yeah. I have played as the Brass Empire. The Brass Empire is really cool. I really like their nation. I went with the Iron Bear. Next time I'll play as them, I'll go with the Corporate Takeover. But it's not too much of a difference between the two trees. But, you know, whenever I get there again someday. It'll be a lot of fun. Population's looking okay. Eventually, we will need to raise Conscription up. I might just raise it up next time if the Ridgers have a large enough army against us, but we'll see what happens. I'll probably start focusing more on doing Wasteland Survival Training, just because we get s just slightly, slightly faster just to fire World Goals times, which we need if we want to expand the Brotherhood's operations. I'm not going to declare one of them yet until we go to war with the other group. That's fine with me. That's a little bit ahead of time for me. Not too much. Maintenance companies might be nice. Vehicles? Meh. That's okay. Are we done with our land auction? No, we're not. I have to stop working on this. So, Purity... Uh, let's see, air superiority, army breakthrough, 5% army breakthrough, and special forces multi multiplier, and soft attack. Oh, that's not bad, and more air superiority, that's pretty good, I like the breakthrough a lot. 
But Leg Infantry get Recon, which actually gives them... I, I like Recon. I re like Recon a lot. You actually get more soft attack here as well. And this helps all infantry, so they get even more soft attack. I think... Oh, you, mm, you don't get any more breakthrough, but let's go with principle. We're not so much about purity as much as about probably principle. We're not the Enclave. Not a bunch of radical Enclave members here. I mean, if we really wanted to be, we could. But I'm thinking... Nah, that's, that ain't us. Also, here's a question um, I'll ask you in just a little bit once we have exer finalized exerting authority, because I want this she secrets. Now, I don't understand. Why do we have to wait until after the first hour on January 1st, 2279, to get this unlocked? If, they're, if the she are gone, the she are gone. I'm not sure why that, that would be like that, but let's just encourage relief efforts anyways. The people of the Bay live regularly in squalor, and they are sickly and scarred into submission by war and raiders. The Brotherhood poses itself as a brilliant opportunity. Op opportunity as protection or opportunity in return a small token of goods as a thank you not a thank you but thank you hmm that's okay i'm just trying to make fun of that that's all uh, i don't i mean no harm I, I like i said earlier i am a little woo right now uh we should be able to go to war actually very very soon so go ahead and stop training for now and go ahead and have a good time do some of this do some of that you know Make sure you don't die in the water. That's usually not a good thing to do. Uh, but you have no upgrades really yet, and that's okay. Let's go and start just like these. They own Nav Why do they own Navarro? Oh, 115 days is so much better than 180. Holy cow. And let's have a good time with you, me, and a whole lot of dead enemies. Especially when you get some backyard workshops. We can't play with those backyard workshops because we're at war right now. But that's okay. We'll get some irrigation instead. We can irrigate those backyard workshops. But another... Man... With this thing, you can make screens so fast. Mine is 25% production cost. So nice. So nice. Oh, uh, yeah. So the other comment I wanted to get to earlier. Uh, no, Megalopolis 1. No, you can't share in the spoils of war. Uh, what PC setup, setup am I using? Wow, look at that. That's a lot more population. Encouraging relief efforts? Nice. And now we can get she secrets. A closely guarded secret of the Shi, the Xi'an fighters now within the Brotherhood's hands. Our scribes have been toiling away, almost completely baffled by its near alien design and advanced components, but now, finally, with much effort and extensive work, we have learned how to fabricate more. Very cool. Uh, but like I was trying to say earlier before and I interrupted myself, uh, what computer specs, or what computer do I have? Someone asked that in yesterday's uh, comment section, which I will gladly answer. Oh, uh, let's see, what do I have? I built my computer in 2017. After I earned enough money from uh, my first real job, uh, uh, I think first of all we got we gotta get Navarro. Like Navarro is too important to not have. But uh, ooh, I don't know, start to piloting. So my CPU, if I remember correctly, is a Ryzen 7 1700X, which is not bad, especially if I need to process videos. Single core, it's okay, it's not great, but you know whatever. Uh, go ahead and train if you guys need it too. That'd be great. Awesome. And my GPU, I have two. I have two GPUs. Ooh, what do we have for commanding officer tracing? Let's see, what do we want? Funding Imperialist. Uh, let's get more max planning. I, I usually do Negotiator for... Or no, I do usually do Smooth Talker for faster recovery. But let's get Negotiator for more max planning. Okay, we'll do that one too. Yeah, I'll get Smooth Talker. Uh, so that was my CPU, like I said, is 1700X, Ryzen 7. Uh, but my GPU is... I too, like I said. A 1050 or 1050Ti, one of those two. I forget. One, 10, I think it's a 1050, I think. And the other one's a 1080Ti. I, I went crazy... I went completely crazy getting a GPU, which was overkill for Hoi 4. But regardless, it looks really nice on Civ 5 and Civ 6. Just saying. Um, but yeah, I used my money when I had my first real job to uh, get that, to buy that, buy my computer. Uh, let's see, I, I think, oh, monoplane detectors? Don't mind if we do. Very, very nice. So yeah, uh, yeah, my computer's pretty strong. So pretty strong. I don't know. I'm thinking about, maybe if I ever get a new computer, I might get it just... Uh, God tier CPU, just so I can process videos so much faster, so I can spend less time waiting for pro videos to process. I don't know. That's just in the back of my mind, and I've been talking with one of my friends about for a while now, but that's okay. Let's see. Ooh, 100%. Yes, yes, yes. I love 100%. Yes, yes. Uh, radar. Uh, we don't need it there. We could probably push radar up where, like here. Recon infiltration. Don't mind if we do. And then we'll follow up with warrior code. More soft attack and hard attack, because we're going to lose that recruitable population factor eventually, so I don't even notice it there. Alright, so we got 469. Nice. Oh, we can help followers. Yes, please. I think we got enough water for now. Research speed would be okay. Support equipment would be okay. Let's go ahead and do this one because we get more energy. 
I wanted factories, but it's anti air and two air bases. So let's go ahead and do restore the Diablo Canyon power plant. Yes, please. And then we shall do really any of that really yet. Uh, resource extraction, because we can get steam powered extraction. That'd be nice. That'd be some nice stuff. In the meantime, let's go ahead and increase this as high as we can to mercenary training instructors, which is just for slightly faster justification times. Honestly, with the Baron's Republic acting this way, it looks like the Brass Empire will still fall, but I can't imagine any of these guys are really that strong. Yeah, that's not strong. 30 guys in the reserve, 2,000 in reserve, New Reno has zero. This is the perfect time to kill them all off. I love it. We want all of California under us, and we'll get some more stim packs too, and save on manpower. Uh, 40s, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and increase just normal power armor uh, by one, because we might want to throw on another support company here like oh anti-tank yes please go ahead and do that i i it, you know i unless it's old world blues i never use anti-tank in any campaign unless it's literally an old world blues i don't know i'm weird i never really found too much of a reason to do it in single player it's not that important in multiplayer oh god you need it probably most likely uh, but anyways anyways that's just me that's just me recycling efforts not bad reaching the army that sounds like a lot of fun resource scavenging eh, oh Ergonomic design. Infantry equipment goes down by 15%. Overcharged ammo. Less reliability, but more soft than heart attack. Weapon surplus. Energy weapon secrets. Or exoskills and hardening. More hardness and defense. Power armor conservation. Composite recycling. Power armor secrets. You know, I'll leave this up to you guys, because I'll get down through this. We're going to do energy weapon and procurement. What should I do? Should I do exoskeleton hardening, which sounds awesome, or ergonomic designs? I'm, I'm pulling towards this way, but I want to hear what your thoughts are. Should we do exoskeleton or ergonomic? Let's do this one first, though. Energy weapon procurement. While Brotherhood of Night or Initiate might forget the high fidelity intricacies, which combine to produce a common energy weapon, our scribes do not. They toil and labor, devising new and more efficient ways of producing these fine, fine weapons. Cool. Let's go ahead and just justify on... It seems like these guys are going to win, so let's go ahead and start justifying on them. Even though they're fighting a lot of people. Oh, you guys can stop training as well. Good, good, good. Three. Two. Tribal hot makers. One. Not gonna call my allies in. Alright, we should be able to beat them up pretty easily. Nope, Megapolis one. You just want my territory, don't you? Look, I know that you might want to be really good allies, but I'm gonna betray you someday. Because all of California is gonna be under us. And you know what? Hmm, that might be the extent of the campaign. I haven't really thought about how far this campaign is gonna go. California sounds good. I'm thinking, maybe instead of California, I want California, Oregon, and Washington State. I'm thinking that might be a really good amount of territory that we could have. That sounds like a, a good goal for us. So time go on, because we could use it. Good, 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 good. And I'm not training any more Brotherhood Paladins, just because I want to get up to 40 combo with eventually. So, we don't need that much more, and do dive bombing, that'd be good for more ground attack. Awesome, awesome. And how is anti tank? Anti tank is looking very nice. Doggos are looking awesome. Eventually, we can't get cyber doggos, so that kind of fits with the whole Brotherhood theme. So let's go get some doggos on our infantry. I think that'd be nice. Cyber doggos eventually, with paladins running around. Ah, what more could you want for? Oh, look at that. That's actually really. That's already a pre made uh, group here. Great. Go ahead and do that too. If you want to train, go right ahead. Actually, yes. Keep training, energy weapon procurement, and we should do modular weaponry. Using modular weaponry schemes will keep our equipment at top scratch when facing combat, from its design, keeping flexibility, and much more needed tailoring to every individual. Wow, we get more soft attack and hard attack already? Seems a little broken, which was another comment from like the very first episode. I went back to look at the like a few of the comments. Yeah, Sweet Home California is not known for being balanced. It's interesting, but it's not necessarily balanced. Which, you know, sometimes I don't want balance. Sometimes I just want to have fun in a mod. I just want to have fun and be like, wee, just, we're overpowered and we're having a good time. Sometimes I just want to play campaigns like that. Because sometimes some campaigns are just like, oh my gosh, when will it end? But anyways, ancient advancements. Most of my campaigns aren't like that. I'm usually not like that for most of my campaigns. Most campaigns are like, oh, this is fun, this is interesting. Let's go see if we can, you know, beat whoever. But some of my campaigns, rarely, it does happen. They're like, oh my goodness, this is not fun. This is like, oh my goodness, I just want to get through this a little bit. But, you know, purebred months. Just showing you a little bit behind the curtain. You know, most campaigns are totally fun. I love doing them. Some of them are like, oh, I don't know. Just want to wrap it up quickly. But combine arms. Recovery rate, soft attack, hard attack, organization. Yes, please. Cool. Yeah, let's go ahead and come back over here. 
veteran training instructors, minus 10%, minus 15%, sign me up immediately. How much longer must we wait? Because I don't want to go to War of the Barons Republic until they finish off at least one of their enemies. Please take writing. Please win. Please win. Please clap. Anyone else have upgrades? Yes, no? Maybe so? Cool. Oh, we have another division. Time to exercise them. Uh, and I guess at this point, we can probably put you up here. Also, occupied territories? Yeah, we got enforcers. Not rioters. Enforcers doing a good job. Let's see. Throw in the doggos. We could probably use them now. We probably have enough of them. Hopefully. Uh, let's go back over here. I've not done this for a while. Let's go ahead and get some additional plating for more hardness. We like them hard. Mm. Doggos are looking great. Love them. Planes? Actually, do we have enough planes to throw them on our infantry now? Hopefully. Yes, we do. Awesome. Good, good, good. Just do that too. It doesn't really matter. Infantry can now have a little bit of coverage as well as a little bit of ground attack. That definitely makes them a little beefier. Especially as they get more recon too. That's kind of nice. I don't know why I do that, like do naval bombings, but it is what it is. I'll let you guys decide on that stuff. Explore the old, production, exploit stuff, Mojave chapter, uh, de Descents of the Wanderer. Huh. The Royal joins the Brotherhood of Steel. Eh, not a bad idea. Let's do... Let's do Naval Doctrine, why not? Oh, this is a great focus description. Boss, get gateway to Pacific Desk. I love... I love that. More triremes? Yes, please. That'd be muy bueno. Oh, yes. Yes, I love this one so much. I mean, their attack... Like, the ground attack is 35. The ground attack of monoplane fighters is 6. What is a ground attack on... Jet attack planes or nuclear jet powered attack planes. Their ground attack is 36. These attack planes are 35. That's insane. Even the fighters is 12. And your nuclear jet fighters is 10. Like, that is... Oh, I love attack planes. I really do. They're so effective. Brutally effective, and I love it. Hmm. Nice. Uh, they're not... They're so close. We have until when? October 11th. That's cool. Hmm. 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 October 11th. Who else should I just... Oh, wow, the Troll Warren is getting thick. Uh, Gateway to the Pacific? Great. You know what? I might end up fighting them. Just do that too. Why not? Pacific Waters? Uh, aerial Operations? Not really interesting to do this stuff. Fighter and Cast Bomber? Oh, that's not bad. Not great. Air Doctrine? Blimps? Airships. We actually, someone did tell me to make some airships because that's what we use flying fortresses as a Western Brother to Seal, or at least a Brother to Seal. But let's talk about the Mojave chapter. In the land once known as Nev Nevada, as a Brotherhood chapter, though wisely they have discovered some wonders of the old world that may be of in interest to us. Yes. Who says we're not helpful? We, are, we help as many people as we possibly can. And by putting them in the ground, sometimes they don't listen. Cool. Come on, guys, hurry up with the war. Get some free from close air support. Ah, oh, yes. How are the factories doing? They're doing so well, we're running out of things to build. Okay, then. Build all this area up. Let time go on just a little bit more. Ah, Navarro's under us. Finally. Greatness. Engine advancements. Cool. Uh, do that, do that, do that. And then do... Bop, bop, bop. Whatever. I deserve, it doesn't really matter. And let's go ahead and do some... Not of that... You know what? Let's research a combat blimp. They take forever, forever to research or, or really use. But it's okay, you know, whatever happens. You know, I'm going to use saws. I never use saws in my campaigns. I never really found them to be useful. They're kind of more of a defensive feature for your divisions. So I'm going to use them this time. I almost never use them. I should use them once in a while, you know? Uh, get CQC training. That'll help us with just using less infantry armor overall. That's so much infantry armor. Holy cow. That is so nice. Another group? Why not? That's a lot of screens. That's a lot of screens. Holy cow. If that's the case, throw on some more triremes. Tri oh, sco schooners. Schooners. Nah, we're going to make garbage until we can make the best stuff. Triremes it is. Cool. There you go. That looks better. Well, at this point, I don't think we're going to be able to take Redding. Just do whatever we need to get done. Kill, kill them all off. Let God sort them out. Oh, wait. We're not playing the religious faction here. Not yet. Uh, oh, radioactive material leaked. Great. We lose monthly population for half a year, but, you know, whatever. It's just monthly population. Nope. Yeah, tell me your thoughts. 
on how far this campaign should go. I'm really open to kind of whatever. Probably not a full Wasteland Conquest, just because, I don't know. Those are okay. They're not my favorite things to do. They're just okay. R Reno, you're next. Thir 30, Jesus, that's so nice. 30 days. Over here. Oh, we can almost core these guys, right? Three. Oh, that's a, uh, that's a lot. That's a lot, Sonny. Mojave chapter, great. Nope. Industrial service. Let's do that one. Joint resource procurement. Power armor isn't easy to keep running. New resources with supplies are desperately needed, and the Mojave chapter has, has them. Perhaps something can be worked out. Nice. Here's some scrap. Here's some water. Don't use it all up in one place. I like that we went to war with both these groups at the same time. It keeps it a little more interesting. I am just over in a few divisions. Nice. Nice. We've lost 15 versus... Well, a couple thousand, I guess. Combined arms. Yes, if we don't mind if we do. Champions of virtue. Yes, we have virtue. We have a lot of virtue. We're some of the most virtuous. <laughs> hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do that. Make us happy. So how much manpower does each group have? You guys have one to two thousand, which is pretty good. Y'all, though, have a thousand, which is pretty good, you know, for yourselves, even though y'all have been fighting each other like crazy lately. And these guys are all struggling. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, yes, that air attack, that ground attack. Oh, yes, please me. Oh, this is, this is, this is brutal. Even the infantry is doing really well. Like, how strong are these guys? They, ugh, that's a lot of a uh, recon. Wow. I'm sorry, my mind is gone. Uh, wow, that is a lot of recon. Ten and a half? Jesus Christ, no wonder you're winning. And I, I, I want to say I want to go to war with New Reno now, but we're not going to be that crazy. we got to keep an eye on our manpower, because it's not looking good right now. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and do this. I should have done this earlier. We're going to lower our uh, division attack and support and stuff like that, but, but we don't actually lower our special forces capacity yet. That's fine with me. Totally fine. Oh my goodness, we just encircled all those guys. Oh my goodness, we just killed 9,000 people so far. Give it up, guys. You're doing a great job. Help them out if you can. The ground attack should be just ripping them to shreds. Please don't get in support here, but you're doing a treme tremendous job, even though you completely didn't even want to take Sac City. Well, whatever. Whatever floats our boats. CQC training? How about an extended industrial service? The elder of the Mojave is requesting assistance with one of his pet projects. No harm in sending him some machinery, is supposed, or I suppose. Uh, yes, go and grab some more defense. I love defense. That's like my second favorite thing besides offense. Beautiful. Uh, where's the next capital? Uh, Flynn Ranch, you might as well head down there. Very good. Just don't, I almost thought they got encircled. Please don't get encircled. We could probably take Redding away from these guys. Uh, no, we good. We might suffer a couple of losses here and there, but... Brotherhood is a strong group here. A very strong group. Yeah, go and take these guys out. They don't need anything here. They don't need life. We gotta save our political power up, too. Mm. We gotta core this area, San Rafael. Uh, more ships? Yeah, why not? Something's, though, like... Oh, Stockton. Cool. Straight out of Compton. Straight out of Stockton. Yeah. Uh, sometimes you don't get to see naval battle results, which kind of sucks. Not sure why. Miniguns, Tesla cannons. We're going to go with Tesla cannons. Oh, actually, Tesla cannons or miniguns? Oh, I don't know. Which one should I choose? Miniguns always sound like a lot of fun. Tesla cannons? I've already asked you guys a lot in this episode. I'm not really sure. If you want to let me know in the comments below, great. If not, you know, that's okay with you. I'm going to go with high pressure. We, we like it high. Oh, we're doing a great job. Even though we're, we might not be winning everywhere. 9,000, 3,000. We're doing 59% of the stuff. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Okay, there goes the Baron's Republic. All we had to do was get involved. All right, you know what? The Desert Rangers, I'll be nice to you guys. You can have this worthless territory. <laughs> there you go, you have the Nevada Range. Sh Shady Sands, you did nothing. Brass Empire, you know what? We're fighting you. I'm not going to give you that. I'll give you this stuff, though. Uh, you know what? Never mind. I'm going to be a dick to you guys. I'm taking it all for myself. <laughs> well, if we're at war with them, you know, what's the point of giving them that territory? There's no point. Klamath, you're next. Oh, wait, we still have a war goal against... Ooh, oh, when does it expire? December 21st. We might be done with this war by then. Maybe, maybe not. Heavens, the gate declared war on them, so be it. Am I just fighting on you guys? I am. I thought I was. Cool. Okay, never mind. The Rass Empire has capitulated, and I'll split this up between me and Reno. Cool. You can have this, this, and that, and that. Oh, wait. That's too much score. I don't have all that score. Oh, boy. And... That should be enough for now. 
Cool, California's gonna look really ugly. But that's okay. It's our California. Everyone line up together. This actually might be a little bit of a difficult war, and that's okay. Let's... Oh, they can join our faction. Oh, we'll do this first. Joint armament industry. The joint agreements with the Mojave chapter are bearing fruit. Or bear... Bearing fruit. Further cooperation exchange for some of the more of our relics are borders or brothers found in that blighted desert could do us wonders. Or do wonders for us. You know, either one doesn't really matter. Ah, very, very nice. Wait, what's going on? What legs? Uh, judge, judge, day of judgment. Judgment day. Cool. Cool? Cool. Lil Jesus Mordino. They're out of manpower. How, much, how many divisions do they have, though? Up to 83. That's a little bit more than what we have. Um... Yeah. That's a lot of resistance, though. Not gonna lie. That's a crap ton of resistance. Are you guys still moving around? You're almost done. We gotta go to war pretty much very soon. Very, very, very soon. Grab some direct ground support. That'd be great. And before we do anything else, let's see if we have any extra planes. Let's throw 50 on more. 50 on more. 50 more of them. Nice. We don't have a lot of manpower. Or at least in my mind, we don't. But just to keep in mind how much we currently have. Gliders, that's all as much as we can throw on. Give us one more day, and here we're going to go and have a good time with each other. Now, they don't attack me, which is a little disappointing. Can the power armor do a good job? Of course they can. What type of question is that? 2v2? Yeah, no. Goodbye. Yeah, no. You're just going to slither your way into New Reno, maybe. Because the longer we wait, I mean, the weaker they become because of all that resistance they've got. Go and grab some fuel injection. That'd be good for you know, our fighters. We could do a general mass strike. I'm not feeling it. Oh, and we have Nerino. Well, that was easy. Well, if that's the case, see what we can do. We probably won't win on a lot of the fronts, especially with the infantry. But it is what it is. Okay, then. Not bad. Got to save up our political power, though. Because we got to start coring some of this stuff. It's just not looking good in some places. Oof. Just not looking good. And this is going to be a lot of resistance to cover. Oh, my goodness. Paladin Leonardo wounded. Cool. Whatever. It happens. Happens, happens. Awesome. We've suffered about 100 casualties versus 2,000. Roughly 3,000. Shady Sands, Clear War, and Woodlex. Seems like we're going to go to war the next. But let's recall the chapter. We need to deepen cooperation with the Mojave chapter to ensure we sur survive the tr trials to come. The trials. The trials. Cool. Y'all are doing a great job. 46, that's not enough ground support. Not enough. 50, over 50, not enough. Oh my goodness. What resources do we need? Oh, we need some more water. Water. Restore, oh, that's not bad. I want, mm, there's no factories. Restore the Sancho Seco NGS, that'd be good. And let's get some more water. That'd be pretty good. Even though I need to save up my political power. Scorpion's Bite. And we're done with our land doctrine, my friends. We're done with our land doctrine. Air superiority, why not? That's always very, very helpful. And we cut all these guys off. Oh, that is so sad. They have only have up to 40-ish divisions left, and the last 5,000 people. Not enough. That's still ahead of time. Grab some guerrilla tactics. That'd be very good to do. More breakthrough is always welcome in the army. Always, always welcome. Y'all might be suffering a little bit from potential supply issues. So I think, boy, no. But they're going to die anyway. So that's going to conclude today's episode. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, guys. If you did, consider maybe leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. When we might end up going to war with the Antelope Tribes and starting to consolidate a lot of our holdings, because my goodness, we've got a lot of resistance, but a lot of factories. Regardless, thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.